Check this out, guys. I got a new e-bike. I picked up the electric e-bike. Just arrived today. I'm gonna unbox it and get it set up. See what it looks like. I got the lid off the box. That's what it looks like inside. That couldn't be much easier. I just reached in and lifted it out. So there it is. It is a foldable electric bike. This is the electric XP Lite e-bike. And I'll reach in and get the charger. Cause that's what that, that's what that box says. That's the charger. And it doesn't look like there's anything else in the box other than the protective stuff. I'm gonna do a quick video here. If you wanna see a complete unboxing where people take off all the cardboard and the foam, there's a ton of videos like that, but I'm not gonna bore you with the details on this video. I'm just gonna to get to it and get all this packaging stuff off. This is probably the easiest assembly I've ever had. All I did is take off the all the stuff in there, all the packaging. The bike is already put together. Again, it's a foldable bike, so I gotta unfold it now. Um, I see that little blue zip tie I still have to get off. So I'm gonna unfold it now. Let's see what it looks like. That is as simple as can be. Unbelievable how easy this was to put together. So a couple things, uh, it does have keys. That's what's on by the zip tie. So I didn't take those off yet. I'd take those off, that'll plug into the battery. Um, it does have foldable pedals as well, so they can fold out. And then this thing, I'll have to see if that's supposed to stay on or not. That's there for you to put the bike down when you fold it so it doesn't get, it's a protector. QC quality control on the wheel probably needs pumped up with air they usually ship them without a lot of air in the tire regular old disc brakes on it little headlight LED screen we'll have to adjust that that's kind of go the opposite way loosen that up so the real test for me is seeing if the bike will fit in the smart car because right now I do have a rad power bike foldable bike and it does not fit in the smart car very well. I can squeeze it in, but I can't fit anything else in. So I'm hoping, neither one of my cars are very big, but I'm hoping this little bike will actually squeeze in the smart car. And how about that? It does fit in the back of the smart car. It actually fits in there pretty good. I can shut the hatch, plenty of room for passengers. It doesn't take up any room in the front of the car. How about that for loading an e-bike in a little car? Gotta love that. And when it's unfolded, it's almost the same size as a smart car, almost the same wheelbase. I'm not really new to e-bikes. I have a Rad Power Bikes right now. That is also a foldable bike, but as you can tell, it is bigger than the electric. So the electric weighs a lot less. It has smaller tires on it, folds up a little bit smaller. The Rad is a good bike, but I'm gonna be selling that because that doesn't fit in my cars very well and the electric does. I think the electric looks better too. There's a better side-by-side -side comparison with electric here out front, the Rad behind it. You can tell that the Rad has wider tires on it. They are both 20 inch tires, but the electric looks pretty good. Smaller bike, more of a BMX style bike. Uh, the Rad has the fenders on it, which I don't really care for. And the Rad has suspension on the front where the electric doesn't have any of that, but I don't ride it on too many crazy roads. So yeah, there is my new electric XP light foldable e-bike. And don't worry guys, look in the garage. I still got the CF Moto 450 SS. It isn't going anywhere. I got to clean it up. I hope to get a ride in it maybe tomorrow. So thanks for watching this video guys. Let me know what you think of my electric XP light. And thank you for watching. Yeah!